What's going on guys? Welcome to your 39th Java game applet tutorial. Alright, so I have, we have this comment here um, from Valio84 um, that talks about, you know, often getting four or five platforms on top of each other, um, which makes the game pretty difficult. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the way that our platforms are recreated on the right hand of the screen after they run off the left side of our applet. So obviously we're going to go into the platform class. All right, so we'll jump in there. Okay, and actually, you know, it's kind of difficult to, you know, get some information about our platform array, um, and that's all of our platforms, obviously. And then you know, change it within the format that we have set up here. All we're going to do is create a getter and setter for our x value, and then we're going to comment out our x value within our platform class. So again, you can just right click and then go to source whoops right click source uh, create getters and setters for again the x value alright then we're going to copy this if statement and then we're going to go into our starting point class I know we kind of are getting sloppy here but and eh, whatever you know too late to fix it now right we're pretty much done uh, we can clean some of this up later if you guys really want but you know we don't have to all right, so we're going to go within our run or the run statement of our thread here. We're going to paste this uh, just as a reminder. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say for int i equal to be 0. Again, is i is less than, again, our platform variable, which we called platform, I believe, dot length. Whoops, it's not called platform. What is it called? P even easier p dot length and then i plus plus for each one of these values we're going to set up an integer value call this a test x and this is going to be equal to our p current position dot get x right so we're just going to get the x value of whatever specific platform we have within our array. So uh, for each one of our platforms, we get the x value. And then what we're going to do is we're going to test that if, and then we're going to test this text test x value within this if statement that we copied over. So we're going to copy that, paste it within that, and then go test. And uh, that will give us a test value. Again, we're getting a width error as well. So let's go into our platform class and create a getter and setter for width as well. Um, so right click, click source getter and setters uh, width again for platform class. Now we can access the width variable. So back into our starting point class, we're going to say uh, p and then you know i as well, whatever we're currently running in our for loop, and then dot width. Uh, dot get width I'm sorry and there we have our if statement set up so this will cycle through all seven of our platforms that we have and it'll get the x value then it'll test the x value see if it's off the screen if it is what we're gonna do is we are gonna say um, our p and then i then we're gonna say set text or set x I should say and this will set the x back to the right hand side of the screen but what we're actually going to do is we're going to, instead of just setting at a random distance on the right side of our screen somewhere, you know, 2,000 pixels away, we're actually going to space it out from the platform right, you know, right in front of it. So basically how this is going to work, if platform 4 within our array runs off the left side of the screen, it's going to go to the right side of the screen, it's going to be like, it's going to be looking for platform 3, which should be in front of it. And it's going to be like, okay, I know where platform 3 is. I'm just going to space myself a certain distance away from platform 3. So we're going to say um, the current platform, again, 4, uh, we're going to set the x value to uh, our platform i minus 1. So that will be 3. Again, we're on platform 4. We're setting the x value to wherever the current x value is for our platform 3 or the platform right in front of it um, dot get x 
and then we also want to, you know, we don't want to have it in the exact same spot as our platform. So we're going to say plus uh, p again i dot get width. So right there, all it's going to be doing is touching platform three or the platform right in front of it. So we want to add some space. So how can we add some space? Let's go to the pictures dot level, and then we you know that'll return what level we are either level one two or three we're gonna times that value by let's say like 150 or actually let's times it by 10 and then we'll also throw a random value in there um, so let's set up a random R um, so we're gonna say uh, R dot next int and we'll give it a distance of like 200. I don't know, I'm just gonna wing in it. Um, so that's kinda how that's gonna work. I know there's a lot of math in there, but hopefully I kinda explained that, uh, how, you know, how that's gonna work. You know, for platform zero, it's gonna be a little bit of a problem because, you know, he's gonna be all excited. He's like, oh, what's up guys? And all the other platforms are gonna be like, oh, hey buddy, yeah, we got this sweet new little algorithm that we got going on uh, to separate us. He's like, oh, cool, I wanna try this. And he's like, oh, okay, the first thing I need to do to set my X value, again, if I'm on the left side of our screen, is, you know, figure out, you know, where the platform in front of me is. And it's going to be like, okay, I got to say 0 minus 1, and then we need to find, you know, the platform in the negative 1 position in our array. And he's going to be like, oh, man, there isn't one. This algorithm sucks. So we got a company uh, position 0. So all we're going to say is if P or I'm sorry, we're gonna say if i is equal to be zero, we're gonna pretend like our i is, you know, seven. So seven minus one is six, and that's what it's gonna set its distance to. Um, so basically it's looking for the position of the last platform in the array. You get that? Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say fake i. We're gonna set this equal to be um, p dot length plus one. So that will return a value one greater than the last uh, value in our platform array. And then when we subtract that one here, it will make the adjustments itself. But the problem that we're having here is, uh, you know, fake i obviously isn't a variable yet. So let's set up this int fake i. And we're gonna set this equal to be i to start out with. Okay, for all the other numbers. All right, so now we have our fake i variable set up, and then all we're going to do is we're going to change this, you know, i here to be fake i. Get it? Uh, we don't want to change it here because again, if it was zero, uh, then it would be position seven, which would be, you know, a null position. We don't have a position seven within our array, so it'd give us an error here. So we want this to actually be the i value. So again, like p zero. We're going to set the x value of the p0, and this is going to look for the fake i, which will be essentially just the i for all of our other numbers except for 0. If it is 0, it's going to say, like, you know, 7. It will return a value of 7, and then we're going to minus 1, so it will be 6. So it's basically looking for the platform in front of it. Um, hopefully you guys kind of understand how that works. Again, you can make the adjustments however you want according to the level difficulty. All right. I ran it and I got some errors. I, you know, I must have done the math wrong or something. Uh, just take out that plus one that I did here because we won't need that. All right, my bad. Because this will return a value of seven for us, and then we'll take seven minus one here, so that'll be position six, which is the last platform within our array. This two hundred is a little bit overkill for the beginning of our game. So what we're gonna do instead is just say uh, times a random int of I'm gonna say a random int of about you know 25, something like that. Um, so let's save this, run it, and I'll show you guys uh, you know the final example here. So right now our platforms are still pretty close, but uh, you know you can just see them appearing on the screen over there, which I don't really like. But you know that's just one way that we can solve the issue. See what I mean? They don't seem to like flow on the screen, but uh, hopefully the gap will get bigger and bigger as the levels progress because it'll be like two times a random number between 1 and 25 
But, uh, you know, that's how you can kind of separate it. You know, it's not perfect, but uh, hopefully you guys kind of understand how that works. You guys can modify it however you want. And uh, I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Peace. Oh, that's over. I'm going to go eat some bacon. Mmm.